everybody thank you so much for coming back to my channel this is just going to be a project share two different uh, one's a project share and one's an organizing share and it's going to have two different ladies to thank for it my first one is stay stace she asked me uh about making if i was going to make a chucky tool i had no idea what that was so i did a search for it and uh, word of warning if you're like me and you don't like horror shows or movies do not just do a search for the word chucky you'll get that awful horror movie doll thing. Um, and there you definitely want to make sure you put Chucky tool <laughs> so you don't get that creature. So, and if I said about uh, uh, me being a chicken but about horror films, I do want to show you the Chucky they made. So when I did kind of this search, I didn't really watch any of the videos. There was enough of the pictures just online from flipping through them that I could see what, uh, how to make one. And so um, from what I could see, you used the tops of candles. So as I've collected a couple candles to go in our emergency kit, I stole their lids. So this one is a Yankee candle and it's the only one Yankee candle I bought and it's a larger lid. And this one seems to be used a lot. And inside, um, apparently you can either leave them empty or do all kinds of decorating on the inside or paint them or whatever. So as usual, I did shells. Uh, in mine, and on the bottom you put some kind of a felt pad. And so I used from the tool bench um, felt pads. I used one of those because it has its own little sticky back. I also actually glued it using E6000 just because I was worried the sticky back would come loose. And inside is actually some paint, um, is actually from a Kleenex box. Uh, so it kind of looks like the oceanish, oceany. And then this one's just a regular candle lid. It's a, lot, it's a little shorter. Um, I think they both e work equally as well. Also did the, the whole um, a seashell type of thing as well. And same thing with the pad on the back. I, there's one big square one in here and I just um, traced it and cut it out. And so that's what I used as the, the base. I could see people were using it looked like they were using felt and other things felt like in their on their on theirs so anyway these are my chucky tools so thank you for that and then my next one is more of an organizing thing and this is um from based on leanna from it's a deal and again i'm going to link both their channels in here so i have a ton ton of a ribbon and i it was taking up way too much space. And I saw on her channel, she did not organize hers this way at all. Hers is a lot nicer and neater than mine. Um, but I don't have the patience to wind mine all up like she did. Uh, but what I did think was, wow, that, that was brilliant, taking them off the spool. I didn't take the spool off. I actually took the spool apart. And then I left them on the center part of the spool. And then I just kind of squished them flat-ish. And let me tell you, you can fit a ton of these when you squish the, the, the this aleph one out so you can see. So all you do is you take off this part here. See on this, uh, oops. And, um, so you can see it on this side, but both of them sides are gone. And then you just kind of squish it and you fit it into um, whatever Ziploc um, you want to. And I did this and I kind of coordinated them as I went through. So all these are, for example, footprints animal footprints, um, car theme. So just, I organized mine that way. They're all kind of just in here right now because I need to organize them even, even further. But this was fantastic. What fits in this bin, I had in giant bags. And it all squished down into magically into this one bin. Fantastic. Without seeing Leanna's, of it's a deal's, I never would have thought, and I don't know why, I never would have thought to um, break down the, the, spool, the, the spool things and, and squash the middle. So you can see I just squashed the middle. They're still on the, on the spools on mine. And um, how many fit in here now? Amazing. Thank you, thank you to both you ladies um, for these suggestions and ideas. I definitely appreciate very much. And... Um, I will see everybody in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.